Photoshop has a variety of tools to choose from when creating vector art, including shape tools like the rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, and custom shape tools. The type tool also makes vector art. The pen and freeform tools are the hardest to use for beginners, but are probably the most versatile of all of the vector art related tools in Photoshop. In addition, you can also load a saved selection as a path. We've highlighted these tools on the tools panel on, on this slide, but be careful, they may not be in the same location in your version of Photoshop. Newer versions of Photoshop allow users to customize the tools panel. When in doubt, always press and hold the three dots in the, in the bottom right corner of the tools panel, panel to view additional tools. The rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, and custom shape tools are all used in the same way. Create a shape by first selecting the tool you wish to use. Before you create your shape, choose to load your vector art as a path, a shape, or pixels via the Pick Tool Mode drop-down on the Options bar. Remember, the Options bar changes depending on which tool you have selected from the Tools panel. Then you can click and drag to make your shape, or your path, or your pixels. If you want to constrain the aspect ratio to make a square or a circle or a butterfly that isn't distorted, hold down the Shift key as you are clicking and dragging. When the mouse has released your shape, or your path or your pixels will have been created. You can now adjust additional settings. For example, paths can be loaded as a selection, mask, or shapes. Shapes have the fill and stroke colors modified. Shape, path, and pixels, as illustrated in the screenshot shown here, represent the pick tool mode drop down options. Use the shape option to make shapes. Use the path option when loading a path as a selection or a mask, or even a shape. Use the pixel option if you've learned nothing about the benefits of using vector art. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so okay, so Jessica, could you um, possibly show us a demonstration how to um, create basic shapes and outputting them as a shape, a path, or pixels? I sure can. So I've jumped over to Photoshop here, and I just have a just a generic document open. It doesn't matter if it's intended for web or for print, and I think mine is 8 inches by 3 inches at 300 dots per inch, but that doesn't matter. Uh, when you're ready to create your basic shapes, you can zoom in on your tools panel here, and there's a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, and what's called an ellipse, where most people just kind of look at, look at it as a circle. Um, if you click, you select one of these, you can click and drag to make your shape. But what I would recommend is before you start making your shape, you decide what it should be. Should it be a path? Is it going to be a selection? Are you going to use it as a layer mask? And so before you even click and drag to make that shape, on your options bar at the top of your screen, if we zoom in over here, there is a drop-down menu that will allow you to decide, am I creating a shape? And then these are the options I would have available to me to modify that shape. Am I going to make a path? And then these would be the options that would become available once I make a path. Or am I going to make basically a selection of pixels? Um, and these would be the options available for that. And so we're going to make shapes first. We'll learn about the other ones later in the lecture. But to make a shape, you must first select and tell Photoshop you want it to be a shape. And now as I click and drag with this is a rectangle, I'm going to create a rectangle and it will have a black fill. And I know it's going to be a black fill because if I look at the options bar, it says the fill color is black. And so it makes a shape. Automatically, when you create a shape, your layers panel will show you that you've created a shape, and then you could begin to modify it if you wanted to. I'll do this again with different colors, and so if I wanted to make a rounded rectangle, before I do anything, I should make sure that I'm making a shape on my options bar, and then we can change the fill color to, let's say, blue. Oops, make sure you deselect before you do that. But now I'm going to create a rounded rectangle, and let's change the color again. I can make it whatever color I want. Then last but not least, you can deselect. Uh, you can make an ellipse, and you can make an oval if you want to. If you press shift, it will constrain the aspect ratio. And for the basic shapes, that means that your width and height will be the same. So you'll make a square or a circle. But if you were to make, give that a color. If you were to make a custom shape, like a butterfly or a rabbit or something like that, a constraining the aspect ratio would constrain the width and height as a percentage of the current aspect ratio so that you don't distort the custom shape that you're creating.